So in this part of the demo, we're going to look at that section where we're going to create, uh, we're going to actually complete the table view. And we're going to use that table view to display information about the cloudiness, wind speed, and also rain volume. So we're going to go back to the view controller. So below, you're going to see that we have the table view data source methods that we're going to be completing. But first, we're going to be still working with the data. And we're going to be working still with display city weather and also load weather data. So this is where everything starts, so where you do the API call. And you see here, so with these three lines of code, so this is where we assign the results of the forecast. So we have the array that now includes five day weather forecast. And at index position zero, we want to return the result for the cloudiness. So cloudiness, then wind and rain. And we're going to return these three strings to this new array. So you see that we declare this new array, which is going to take three string objects. So that's going to be assigned to that array. And if we go back, so I'm just going to do a clean to remove all the warnings. Otherwise, it's confusing. So we're going to go to display city weather, where we call this function load with the data. And this is where we're going to then, then pass this array right here. So we're going to start here. Let me take you back to the top. So I just want to show you where we have declared this array city data with string objects. So we're going to use this one and then write self city data. And that's going to be a array. So the one that we're going to return from the completion handler. And it's going to take strings as object. There you go. Now let's go to the table view data source method. So we're going to indicate so how we want the table view to be displayed with the city data. So we're going to go to number of rows in section. And that's going to be so the number of objects that we have in the array city data. So that's going to be city data count. Next, we want to configure the cell. So we're going to go here. And we're going to start by creating this constant. And that's going to be the result of city data at index path row. There you go. And next, we want to then update the data label text property and assign data as string. And also, we're going to update the weather icon. So we have a setup icon that we have prepared. So I'm going to actually show you this array that I have declared at the top. And that's going to take strings as objects. And here we implement that array with cloud white, rain white. So let's look at the assets that we have for that application. So we have different icons available, wind speed, then rain. So this one is the black, rain white, and cloud white. So this is what we're using. So we're going to be able to display that as icons. So we're going to assign to one constant, and then we're going to use icons at the in corresponding index path, index path row, and finally, on the custom cell, we're going to call weather icon and then image. And for the name of this file, that's going to be the icon that we have just defined. We also have the weather information. And that's this array that we have declared right at the top right here. So that's cloudiness, run volume, and so forth. So I'm just going to right cell weather info and that's going to be text and we're going to proceed the same way so we're going to take this array and assign so whichever string object that we have at the corresponding index path row so one last step so when you work with the table view is to reload the data of the table view so that's a built-in method that comes with the table view protocol so you're going to write so inside display city weather animate table, you're going to write here self table view reload data. That's it. So we're going to save and then you're going to be able to build and run. And we're going to see how this looks. There you go. So now you can have so the informations of cloudiness, the rain volume and also the wind speed for Paris.